Hi, I'm Yanuman Malan and you're watching Cricket Fanatics magazine. Hey guys, Khari from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here and I'm here with Yanaman Malan. So Yanaman, first question I have to ask you is, what's this KFC bucket experience been like for you? Yeah, um, it's been a good experience. Uh, met a couple of new people and uh, just enjoyed watching the game with some nice KFC uh, food. With regards to the food, um, there's quite a, a, a wide spread over here. <laughs> so please tell me, what is your favorite menu item? Yeah, it's quite uh, dangerous when it just stands in the middle. Like you take a piece, you walk around, and then you're like, okay, they, okay let me just go take another piece. <laughs> so I just stopped doing it mindfully. It just happened. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the dunked wings, um, yeah. and one of these these burgers also. Like I've never bought it in this in the KFC, but I think yeah. I'll maybe try it. The crunch burger. Yeah. Wow, cool, awesome. So there's a lot of fans that came through this into this bucket over the time that you've been here now. What are some of the most interesting questions that you got from the fans? Um, yeah, I've got one question where the one person asked, oh, we talked about the side screen, and then I told her it's, uh, the side screen is that color because the ball is white, so to stand out and yeah. then, like, the mind was blown. They just like, whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> so, and then we asked, what color, what do you think, why is, the, why is there a white side screen, and then they they figured out it because the balls are different colors. So oh, it's yeah, quite good cricket chat here awesome. on the side. Yeah. So you're obviously a youngster coming through the system. You've had your chances with the Proteus. Are you gunning for that World T20 spot? Is that is that something that you have in your sights at the moment? Yeah, um, definitely to win the sights um, at the moment. Um, just trying to keep it simple and every opportunity I get grasp with both hands and uh, do my best. Yeah. Um, that's all I can do at this moment. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you're going to get the chance in that ODIs first up. Um, are you looking forward to the ODI series and have you set yourself some goals for this ODI series? Yeah, um, obviously it's been good uh, to, to be in the squad against England. Um, it was good to, to be in the environment and just uh, see how things are done. Um, very high work ethic, it's very good. Um, yeah, um, let's see what happens. If I get an opportunity, um, just gonna try and enjoy it and do my best. Uh, yeah. So obviously I was eavesdropping and watching you guys in the nets a bit, and I saw that you kind of took a little bit of, of Jacques Callis's new method of taking videos of yourself, watching yourself. Can you just talk me through that and what Callis has come, come into the camp and what he has kind of taught you and taught and showed you? I mean. What was he doing with that, all that footage that he was taking of you guys batting in the nets? Yeah, um, obviously, um, him being Jock Callis, he knows quite a bit about batting. Yeah. So, for me to um, come in there and just get a bit of advice from him, obviously, take every, uh, listen to what he, what he has to say, and uh, try and work it into my game. Um, because not all of us can bat like Jock Callis, yeah, you know? of course. Um, so just try and work some of those into my technique and my game. Yeah. Um, so that that is a challenge at the moment, um, but um, it's given a lot of valuable advice. Yeah. Um, small stuff that make a big difference, so um, very valuable input. Because this is also a lesson to the younger cricketers out there, because I've spoken to some that have mentioned that when whenever they play cricket, they have a lot of coaches telling them different things, and school level, provincial level, then the nationals level, um, they, they hear different coaches telling them different things. How do you filter what you must listen to and when you must just stick to your own game? Yeah, to be honest, it, uh, it's still a, it's still a, a challenge for me, um, but uh, chatting to a couple, to a couple of referen reference points I had down the line, um, it's important for you to know what type of cricketer you are, okay. um, to be true to yourself and, and ask yourself uh, how did you get where you are and obviously when you, get, when you climb levels you have to adapt so don't be rigid in your mindset, be, be, be open to change and uh, take it as it comes and um, work it into your, into your identity as a batsman.